hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me again welcome back to these reviews so i've got another perfume that i'd like to talk to you guys about today um it's gonna be kind of like a review plus a chat about this perfume okay so the perfume that i want to talk to you guys about today is this perfume right here the first thing that we're going to do is obviously take a look at its packaging it comes in a golden box with the obviously the white line design and the name of this perfume is bint huran and this perfume is by ard al zafran which is an arabic perfume house um there's been a lot of hype going about arabic perfumes because they are actually good in my opinion at getting the dna of some of these i would say niche designer expensive fragrances but for affordable prices so a lot of people obviously because of um um the financial i don't want to say financial crisis there's a lot going on finance wise and people want to smell good you still want to look good i mean i want to smell good i still want to look good but for an affordable price because i cannot afford you know those expensive perfumes for now okay saving is important but anyways i digress so they've gotten really really good at kind of getting and understanding the dna of some of these designer perfume houses and the perfume that i'm speaking about today specifically as i mentioned previously is bint huran and bint huran is supposedly supposed to be a dupe for Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. So Carolina Herrera's Good Girl is, I would say, a very feminine, dominating, sexy fragrance, in my opinion. Um, kind of person that wears a sort of perfume has to be confident and has to be able to pull it off. It's not one of those perfumes that's for, it's not really subtle. Okay, one spray can last quite a long time. How do I know this? I mean, I've used testers before okay um you really need to be confident i think to pull it off and anyone i feel like anyone can do it um perfume wearing is about what you like and how you present yourself and how it makes you feel so as i mentioned it's a very sexy fragrance for like a confident woman who knows like what she wants where she's going you know, when you walk into a room with this perfume, with Carolina Herrera's Good Girl perfume, you, I want to say you will get attention, but it is sort of dominating, obviously depending on how many sprays that you use, but it's still a fragrance that people around you will notice. So that's what I have to say about the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume, okay? So Bintoran smells very similar to Carolina Herrera's Good Girl perfume. And the lasting power is also quite good. Um, depending on how many sprays you use, okay, I would suggest that you don't go overboard. Maybe try one or two or three here or there. Otherwise, it could be choking, it could be cloying, and that's not what you want. You don't want to it to be too overpowering. You don't want it to offend people. And I'll be careful wearing this in like, closed spaces i'll probably wear this maybe on a night i mean you could wear it in an office but don't spray too much okay um if you want to go overboard with spraying it probably wear it on a night out but that is my opinion that is how i wear perfume that's how i would wear this perfume so let's make the comparison here between um carolina herrera's good girl i'm gonna put that over here and then bint Horan's kind of notes and accords i'm going to put that over here okay so they both have the sort of main accords and notes um so binturan has got the vanilla has got the tuberose has got the the jasmine it's got the woody notes it's got the sweet almond tonka bean and it's got the musk let's not forget about the musk and the cocoa pod okay and Carolina Herrera's good girl is
So the notes in Carolina Herrera's Good Girl are almond, coffee, bergamot, lemon, tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom, oris, Bulgarian rose, base notes, vanilla, cocoa, tonka bean, and some other notes in there, but you get the gist. They have similar notes. They're, the similar ingredients have been used. Granted, Binturan only has about six, six of the notes that have been used for Carolina Herrera's Good Girl perfume, but as a whole, as a perfume in a whole, they do smell very, very similar. Let me just show you what this perfume looks like, okay? So I showed you the box. This is what the box looks like. You can see the gold detail. It's a gold box and obviously the name, Binturan. Now let's open up this baby. And it reveals this very sturdy bottle, okay? This will look nice on a shelf. It will also be nice, I mean, I feel like as a gift, somebody would appreciate this as a gift. That is if they're not too concerned about celebrity names or designer names or designer perfumes, but this looks really, really nice. I mean, they didn't cheap out when it came to the presentation of the perfume. Like the, the bottle is very sturdy, okay? Look at the detailing on that. You've got the black and you've got the bold, the gold as well. There you have it. Been to run. Okay, so this would look very, very nice, I think. If you have a fragrance collection, you can just put it up there with all your other fragrances. On top of that, I feel like it is a suitable autumn kind of winter perfume like a nighttime perfume in my opinion i wouldn't wear this i think during the day or in an office and another thing that i think you guys are gonna like about this perfume is its price point carolina herrera's good girl normally goes for around i don't know 60 to 80 to 90 pounds for 100 milliliters bintoran goes for around 16 i would say to maybe 30 pounds that's how much you can get this perfume for, obviously depending on where you buy it from. That's where you can get this perfume from. And I think for the price point, if you wanna kind of try out and see whether this smells like Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, I feel like 16 pounds is affordable for most of us. Obviously, um, if possible, go and try and test it out and see um, if you like it, if it does smell similar to Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, in your opinion. But to me, I feel like for 16, between 16 to 20 pounds, it's definitely one of those perfumes. Like if you're somebody who wants to smell, who wants to exude like confidence um, when you wear your perfumes or sexiness or whatever it is, I definitely think it's, it's a perfume that you can consider to have in your perfume collection. Okay, but don't take my word for it. Go out there, try and get a tester and see if it is for you. But this is definitely staying in my collection. Um, and especially good because it's like winter time now, autumn or winter time. So it's like the perfect time to kind of use this perfume. So that has been my take on, um, on Art Alzafran's perfume. Okay, let me know what you think. If you do purchase it, if you do like it, let me know what your opinion is. Um, I'll be reading the comments and as always, you can like and comment on this video and always subscribe. Do not be scared to subscribe. Subscribe. I see every single subscription, every single person that subscribes and I thank you so much for your subscriptions. But um, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Take care. Bye.